Hi folks, it's Nick here, and I'm coming at you with a real stinker. It's uh, Crazy Cars on the Commodore Amiga, published by Titus Software in 1988. Now this is one of those games which is so bad it's actually good. It makes me laugh quite a lot, but it is terrible. The idea is you race across the US as fast as possible against the clock and some other computer controlled opponents. But um, yes, you start off in a Mercedes car and after each completion across the states, your car gets upgraded. But there's no real difference in the gameplay then. I think you've got about an extra 8 kilometers an hour extra top speed, but then that's about it. Uh, this sorry sack of a game also came out on the Amstrad CPT, CPC, the Atari ST, Commodore 64 and the Spectrum. So I'll let you judge for yourself really. Don't be influenced by me, make your own mind up. We start off in Florida. Um, you see on the left there that the uh, the road is outside the scenery. And that's something that happens throughout the entire game. Yes. So let's see what humble locations... Oh, having, having said locations across the state, the course looks pretty much the same each time. The car handles like nobody's business, it's slipping all over the place, collision detection is weird, and the track is really narrow. Now, ex accelerate, decelerate, and turn, really. There's a, there's a, there's a car collision. Whoa, then we, <laughs> we jump up in the air as the opponent momentarily disappears. On the left there, you see the road is, um, well, half an inch outside the scenery, but forget about that bit. Um, it's very easy, this game, as well. So the time's ticking down, you see 33 seconds. Um, yes, there's no line down the middle of the road if we overtake that thing. Now, the opponent cars, there are other cars we can drive later on, but it's Mercedes going 257, I don't know if that's kilometres an hour or miles per hour. There's a Porsche, which uh, we'll get to drive as the next upgrade if we make it. And there we go. So that, that's the first stage done. So that's Florida wrapped up. Wasn't that exciting? Yes, it was very, very tricky to complete that. So hopefully the next stage will be completely different. The track will have completely different handling and the scenery will make you feel that you're somewhere new. Prepare for the next run. It's New York. Are you excited? There's New York in the background. Do you recognise it? I can't see the Statue of Liberty, which you would use. We're off. Time 74 seconds to start off with. The score's ticking up. Now, this would have been up against Outrun, which fortunately on the Amiga was also another terrible conversion, so it looks okay compared to that. But this is so, so funny. Oh, hey. Whoa, oh, we got overtaken again. So, we've made a big error here. Can we possibly do the stage? Um, well, maybe. If you wasn't told before, could you tell this was New York? I don't think you could, could you? It's made up of a few islands, but uh, we crashed again, so... So we've had two crashes against the only traffic, so we should be doing terrible. So no chance of uh, completing the stage you would have fought. Right, we're past it this time. Dig those engine sounds. Um, yeah, maybe it'd be better in cockpit view, but there isn't a cockpit view. Cheshire 2 had it wrapped up in cockpit views, they knew what to do. Yes. This game also had a couple of sequels. Oh, we've done it. Well done. <laughs> we had a couple of sequels. It was uh, Crazy Cars 2 and Crazy Cars 3, which we're probably going to come to consecutively so we can see if the series improved or did it stay the same. What do you think of the game so far? I've pretty much slagged it off, giving it bad ratings. Oh, look. Space Shuttle Challenger right now. So expect Space Age stuff. Have you played this game on any of the other formats? The Amstrad, the Atari, Commodore 64, Spectrum? I've got to find it on the Spectrum. Deary me. Right, here we go. So the track might as well be exactly the same. It might even be. I'm trying to pay attention. The car, that the car's the same. Oh, I'm creasing up here. This review's not going to go on for hours, I hope. But it's fun, isn't it? It's, it's amazing what these retro games sometimes uh, pick up. You couldn't get away with this today, not not by a long shot. But this was 1988. How old were you then? Were you even born? I know I was. Because I played the damn thing. Might have got this as a present, I don't know. 
I don't know the person like me or not. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this is this is amazing. The car, the, you might as well be controlling the car with a mouse. It slips like an arrow pointer. No real, no real grip or feeling to the road at all. Oh, we've done it again! Hooray! It's one of those games where. You know, you're playing it and you hope not to qualify. You hope to the game to end, but you just keep going through. I think you'd have to park the car for about four minutes to not actually do this game. Right, prepare for the next race. I don't know why it's having this long a load time, because nothing's actually loading. Right, mountain challenge. So what conjures up in your mind what would happen in a mountain? Probably a lot of elevation, rock falls. Uh, but no, you never come up to the mountain. The mountain's in the distance, the challenge is actually to get to it, and you never will. It's, this is more like the meadow challenge, I would have say. Right, look out for mountains, let me know if you see any. Um, no, there's no mountains here, mate. Boo, boo, boo. Right, there's a blue Porsche, which we'll be driving at some point. If, if we can keep awake enough... There's a good overtaking manoeuvre there. Easy peasy. What more can I say about this? I don't know. The grass is well done, isn't it? Look at that. It does look like proper grass at speed. So they've done well there. Um, um, the frame rate is... Well, it's okay, isn't it? Uh, the sky. They've turned for a gradient on the sky there. i do not not sure that works. Well, anyway, it grades up into space in various colours. Oh, we've, we've done it again. As we slowly approach the highest score. So it's a bit torturous, this one. I don't know how many more stages we got to do until we're across the whole of the states. Now we're in the desert, Arizona, and it's just exactly the same as the grass, but this time in brown. So the car won't overheat. You've noticed there's no gears to go through, it's automatic, so that's the skill there. So there is no skill really. There's no skill involved there's no skill involved in this. If you're someone that owned this game and never got off stage one, then I don't know what you was doing. You're either an alcoholic or just plain stupid. Well, we're past that Porsche again. No oncoming traffic at all. Am I being too harsh on this game? I don't know. I've said some good bits about it, haven't I? It does make me laugh. I don't know what that thing was. I think that white car is something you get at the end once you've completed the, the stakes challenge about ten times or something. But who's going to do this even four times, even twice, even once? Just me, and I, I've got to do it because of the review. Have you played the sequels, Crazy Car 2 and Crazy Car 3? What am I to expect different from those ones? Was that by Titus Software as well, or did a new outfit do it? It's, it seems like a game you could code in an afternoon, from scratch. I think it, I think the um, r the challenge ends up in Vegas. It might be that next. Oh no, Malibu now. I fancy a cocktail. Start. It says start, but it never says finish, does it? This looks a bit like the mountain stage, does it not? <laughs> it might as well be. The grass is back. What the duh? This is Malibu. Is that a beach in the distance? <laughs> Maybe. There's a very thin sliver of yellow that could represent a beach. Oh. It says race across the states. It could be anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere in the whole world. Are we going to do it? I'm getting a bit of deja vu here. Oh, we crashed into that thing. It's weaving. Oh, we can't get past. Perhaps we're not going to get across the states. In Test Drive 2, please have a look at that, because I love that game on the Amiga, although it's not perfect. There is a California Challenge um, scenery disc. That's pretty much America. There we go, we done it. Ten seconds to go. I'm really lording it over this now. I think this was a full price game back in the day. <laughs> Deary me. Oh look, oh that was the last stage, was it? We've got a Porsche now. It's got a red Porsche, but I think it's blue. So well done, we've done it once. What's next? I must have missed Vegas. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Or maybe it's Vegas next. 
Long loading time here. It's loading the different car. So prepare to be staggered by the graphics. Back to Florida. Yeah. No, let's try and sound enthusiastic. Right, so we've got a different car now. Notice how the physics change. They don't. The top speed before was 257. Let's see what it is now. This is what we've been working towards. It's 265. So for all our endeavours, we'd get an extra eight miles an hour. And you see now, instead of racing Porsches, we are racing Mercedes. Let's swap the graphics. There. Now, it's at this point you think, now is it worthwhile racing across the States again to get the next upgrade? And your brain starts telling you, no, it isn't. And then it starts telling you, I'm hungry. And then it starts thinking of other stuff for you to do. But, uh, yeah. This is crazy cars, and it's not really that crazy. It's crazy that anyone bought it. That's the crazy bit. But it's a laugh. It's one player. There's no two-player mode. Because convincing two people to play this at the same time would just be way too difficult. I think uh, I think we might end it here, you know. I think we will. Yes, so that was been Crazy Cars by Titus Software from 1988. I hope you liked having a look at that one as we attempted by New York again. Thanks for watching as always. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.